welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video and in today's video we are going to give a look to this week how this week went out i will be talking about ios 26 mercury beta 2 as i am using this update for a five days now i will be including some news regarding ios 26 but 4 iphone 18 and more so without any further delay let's get up into this video and let's begin with the ios 26 but 3 beta 2 so iOS 26.3 beta 2 released uh, this Monday that was on 12th of January and I was hoping that it will bring some new changes, new features but actually it didn't bring anything. It wasn't that a big update, a small update with no changes at all. There was only one change like when you go into the notifications in the beta 1 we saw the option of forward notification in over here and with the beta 2 that option is removed as you can see there is no forward notification and no forward notification is only available in the eu region so for the other people it is removed other than this i haven't seen i haven't saw any change which was honestly a bit disappointing now i want to talk about the battery life the how few days it went through battery life i'm using i was going to expect three beta 2 for almost like I don't know, almost like 5 days now and for example for the first day when I was using 26.3 beta 2 I used around 81% got 6 hours and 24 minutes keto time that's what he said I was highly active on Google Maps because I was traveling to another city so I was using the Google Map continuously all the other day I used around 77% got 6 hours and 23 minutes keto time again we quite use different social media apps like Instagram, YouTube, and as you can see. Other than that, over here, I use about 88% of the 7 hour and 23 minutes screen of time. Again, quite active on TikTok, WhatsApp, Netflix. And even today, I use about 75%. And today, I got a really good screen of time, like 7 hour and 51 minute. I was active on Instagram, WhatsApp, TikTok, books, threads. And I will say this is a really good screen of time and it is an improved screen of time and I'm really enjoying the overall performance. Um, I haven't faced any issue or, or I don't have any complaint when it comes to uh, the screen of time. Also, I'm using iPhone 16 and my battery health is actually at 98%. Now, almost a week ago, I 1% dropped. It was 98%. And in just in a week, it dropped another percent. But it is what it is. The first was a drop after nine months. That was insane. But it is what it is. And if I talk about the performance, haven't faced any issue with the performance. Things are nice. And also the Geekbest scores are decent. Like I read multiple tests. One of the tests I got these scores, which were one of the best ones. Really good score for the multi core. Really good score for the single core. I really like the scores. Both scores are higher than the average one, as you can see. At the same point, a GPU better score is also really good. Like, as you can see, I got a really good GPU better score, which is way higher than the average one, which is also a good sign. So, overall, things are nice. Performance is decent, and everything is working really good. I haven't faced any sort of issue. In beta 1, I did face a couple of lags, but in beta 2, when it comes to performance, things are nice, things are buttery smooth, and everything is working really, really nice. So, if I conclude the iOS 26.3 Beta 2, our battery life so far really good, performance so far also really good. And the next update we are expecting is definitely the Beta 3, and I we are I'm expecting that starting the next week, on 19th of January, that is going to be the Monday. That is what I'm expecting, iOS 26.3 beta 3 definitely i will do a separate full-fledged video about what we can expect that in terms of features and all those stuff so that video will also come very very soon on the channel so this is all from the ios 26.3 beta 2 now i want to talk about ios 26.4 because that is going to be a really really big update and the highlighting thing of ios 26.4 is definitely going to be the cd 2.0 Hopefully, hopefully we will see CD 2.0 powered with Gemini. That is going to change Apple Intelligence forever. Now, for now, Apple Intelligence is not that crazy. There is extension available that is ChatGPT, but things are not going nice. So, 
Apple need to fix the city and Apple need to fix the Apple strategies and you know to you know to fight against other brands like Samsung and Google Pixel everyone who is using really good AI Apple need to do something and they you know collaborate with Google and they collaborate with Google which means Gemini coming to the iPhone in Apple Foundation in Apple Intelligence. Apple can fight you Gemini on its own so that in the sports school is the way Apple prefer. Also Siri will give more thorough conversational responses the way chat GPT or Gemini do. AI answers will not include any branding related to Gemini or Google. So this is all about the new Gemini coming to Siri 2.0 with hopefully iOS 26.4 and that is going to change the whole game for the Apple. So I'm quite excited about the Asmodee 26.4. Let's see how things are going to work. And at the same time, we are getting iPhone 18 leaks. And iPhone 18 Pro is going to come with a new camera cut. Now, according to the leaks, according to the rumors, the new camera cut will be over here on the corner. And there will be no cut over here. And the dynamic light will also be over here but honestly i might don't like this design because dynamic light dynamic island in the center makes more sense to me it's one side maybe i'm not gonna like that but these are some um, rumors going on also iphone 18 will be coming with the same screen sizes as the last year so that is another news there is another rumor that we might get only pro iPhones this year and maybe other baseline models in the next year. So we are expecting um, iPhone 18 Pro and 18 Pro Max in um, September 2026. And maybe we are going to see other devices, more options in uh, 2027, early 2027. So this is also a rumor going on. Let's see how this is going to work out. At the same time, I was 18.7.3 is hopefully the last update for the iOS 18 on my other iPhone from which I am recording this video is running iOS 18.7.3 and hopefully it is going to be the last update if you guys want to see how the iOS 18.7.3 is working out let me know in the comment section below I will definitely break a video but the thing is many of you were commenting me down that we cannot downgrade from iOS 26 now I do remember like for example when I was on iOS 16 I was able to downgrade to iOS 15, but this time your Apple changes the whole thing. If you are if was if you are once on your on iOS 26, you cannot go back, and this is not nice, honestly. Uh, but this is what it is. Uh, but what is your opinion for like if you have the option to downgrade, will you downgrade? Let me know the comment section below. Also, the adoption rate of iOS 26 is very, very low this time of the year. So these were some of the things I wanted to include in this video. So far, I talk about iOS 26 plus 3 beta 2, how this is working on. Also, I, wanted, I talk about iOS 26.4, iPhone 18 leaks, and iOS 18.7.3. So this is everything I talked about in this video. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and I hope to catch you guys. In the next video, I'll do the take care. Peace out.